that we do not live according to the trial of this world or struggles and not with the weapons of the flesh but they are mighty from God to overcome all the darts flame darts of the enemy our fight is not against the flesh and the blood but it is of the spirit it is the Lord that gives us victory it is the Lord that gives us direction and he took the prophet and brought there and he measured he had a measuring stick a uh, measuring line or a string that was used to measure and we are measured by a line which is a line of scarlet it is the blood of Jesus that measures us and that causes us to take a step forward and see the operations of, a go of God in our lives and he measured and the Bible says that he measured with this string a thousand cubits and the Lord says in the book of Luke and also on the Gospels that he, the Lord said the following the, the trials of this life look at the lily of the valley they do not work they do not uh, sow and even Solomon with all his riches never dressed up like them and he said the following which one of you being going through but that desires uh, be, uh, is desiring a lot desire greatly can can uh, add one cubit to their height but the Lord brings us into his present presence and adds 1,000 and plus 1,000 plus 1,000 every day until we reach the stature of perfect uh, servant and the Lord that whom we serve is the Lord that leads us to have experiences with him and what are the experiences of the servants and we have seen today four lives that came down through the waters they have been conducted by the Lord firstly he took the prophet to visualize there the rivers and then he led them to enter into the waters and then he entered onto his, his ankles the ankles is the joint of the ankle there that gives mobility to walk and there you start having a little bit of difficulty and then all the way to the knees and then the knees speaks of speaking with God in prayers and when we kneel down we are already walking the dependency with the Lord and now we take the first steps no longer with our according to our own means but according to God's means the purifying waters the knees the first experiences that we have with the prayer and then continue walking and then it goes all the way to the waist so the word says that we need to be prepared with the gospel of peace the belt that goes around here speaks of the preparation of the gospel of peace when we begin to learn according to the word of God everything that we do the brethren here have experiences with spiritual gifts and baptism with the Holy Spirit precious things the brethren have already received from the Lord in this act which was when they resolved not to no longer to serve this world but to serve the Lord and confessing now and proclaiming that what was the past life was left behind was buried in the waters and they re rose a new man a new creature I am a servant of the Lord from this day forward declaring to the world declaring to the church and to the family to the friends that we are now servants of God I've been baptized on the waters I've had an experience with the Lord and now I do not accept the offerings of the world now I'm learning to walk on the walks on the waters of the spirit and he kept leading him and that's how our lives are the spirit leads us to have new experiences and there comes a moment in which we can no longer walk our, of ourselves but we walk on the Lord 
It is the Lord that guides us, and no longer I live, but Christ lives in me. He is the one that governs out my life, and the fruits are there. And the dependency on the Lord and everything. We have been going through difficult times, and the tendency is not to get better. There is no governance that can improve what is out there. The only governance is the governance of the Holy Spirit. That improves our lives, not to the material life, but that will lead us to eternity. And the prophet, the prophet was able to see that those waters, the water, that purified, and they would uh, fall, drop onto the sea. And now, verse eight. Then he said to me, "These waters flow towards the eastern region, goes down into the valley, and enters the sea. When it reaches the sea, it." it its waters are healed in my bread. Before we came from there, and now we are going to there. Now uh, the way we speak is different. Your the way you speak is going to be different. Now we're going to speak about what we are living in the presence of the Lord. Now we are purifying waters, and the words are going to say, "Do not be worried when we are before an authority. Do not be worried with." What we are going to say, because my spirit is going to speak on your behalf, I'm going to put on your mouth the words that you should speak, and the mouth speaks of what the heart is filled with, a heart filled with experience from God, and we're going to speak of what we are living, what it was in the past. It is in the past. What it was is in the past. My failures, my mistakes. The Lord forgives and forgets, and He threw it on the sea of forgiveness. And now the purifying waters are the ones to speak through us, and all the ones who hear the testimony of the servant of the Church of God, who is going to receive a blessing because the waters of the sea are going to be purified. It's, it's not the waters of the sea that are going to enter to rivers, but the other way around. And whoever hear the te your testimony is going to want to receive a blessing from the Lord. What I once did, I no longer do. What I said in the past, I no longer say. What I lied, I no longer lie. If I defrauded somebody, like the words of Zacchaeus, he said, "Lord, I forgive me. I'll retribute four times more." And now, I have the word of gospel peace four times more. Four speaks about the four gospels. Now we have a gospel to preach, a living word, and that will be purifying the hearts. And this that the Lord has done for us, the Lord wants to lead us to do the same. We're going through difficult moments; lives are being lost in great ease. But the Lord wants to save us. And the text that we, we read said, "And it shall, and it sh and we will leave. There will be a very great multitude of fish because on the servant of the Lord can nothing can prevent a servant of God." From speaking about the Word of God, not only the four here, but the Church of the Lord have already received a great blessing from the Lord. What happened today here? The baptisms was an answer to prayer. And what happened here is going to happen in your house. It's going to happen in your home, your life. Experiences with the Lord in the midst of your family. We are here many times, word with our family members. But here, in faithfulness to the Lord, the Lord will operate in your life, and He will operate there as well. And whatever this river goes, there will be life, and there was a lot of. There is going to be a lot of fish. Great blessings from the Lord. Lots of providence from the Lord, not to this life, but to the eternal life, because the Lord is not worried with this life. The gospel of prosperity. It's not what the Lord wants. What the Lord wants us to live every day in completely dependent on Him. And we remember the Apostle Paul and the difficulty he had. And he, he pleaded to the Lord to remove this flesh on his, this thorn on his flesh, and the Lord answered, "My grace has been enough for you." And what is this thorn on your flesh that you have? Is it your boss? Is your work? Your mother, father, your brother, husband, wife? What is the thorn in your flesh? 
My grace has been enough for you. Is it difficult? My grace is enough for you. Living by grace is wonderful favor of the Lord. It's the best thing that can happen in the life of man. That should be like this. Oh, oh, the government is going to give you a good wage, and this should be enough for you. No, it's not enough. What is enough for us is the presence of the Lord, having peace in our hearts, and uh, the assurance that God is with us, whatever we walk through. And the Lord even has shown angels working on behalf of the brethren who have come down into the waters. The angels will be working on your behalf as well, brother and sister. And the word says the angel of the Lord are sent to take care of the ones who are going are to inherit salvation. It's a great blessing of the Lord in your life. There is an angel of the Lord in your life. And every time, blessed be the name of the Lord. And you live however you enter whatever this river enters into. And the river entered you know, into your heart and the Lord is operating a miracle in your life. Whatever is your situation, your difficulty, the river entered into your life to transform, to give you a new way of life, to bring joy, peace, comfort in the moments of difficulty. And the Lord is taking care of you. The Lord wants to give you an experience of being cared for by the Holy Spirit of God in every moment of our lives. Rest on the Lord, my brethren. Is it difficult to go through? Look, rest on the Lord and on God's arms, and He will carry you. He will guide you. That's what the Lord has shown to that prophet. Yes, you begin to walk, and then the next steps will come in the next days. The things that are to come, rest on the Lord, and He will guide you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let's sing a song of praise. Now I'm going to hand the word to Pastor Renew so we can participate on the supper of the Lord. Lord Jesus, blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Peace of the Lord to everyone, the ones who are following us through YouTube. I'd like to invite you to stand up once again. Let's open our Bible in first letter of Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 11.
we are all brethren in Christ. Whoever took the Bible, Pastor Roger, please return because it's going to be complicated. He came here. There is a Christian here. Christian that steals a Bible, hey, appeared, came up. I knew that the, the church here. Oh, he was saying, oh, somebody stole my Bible. Oh, can't be. I can't believe this. First Corinthians 2, 11, 23 says the following. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he, he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke and said, Take it, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat of this bread and drink of this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Therefore, whoever eats this bread and drink this cup in the Lord in the unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let man examine himself, and so let him eat of this bread and drink of this cup. Amen. The church may be seated. I read now, quickly. Here we see Paul he using two words which are fundamental words for our spiritual life. Paul here, he takes what was the teaching of the Lord Jesus when the Lord Jesus participated on what was the last uh, Passover here on earth and he uses these two words he, Jesus introduces to the disciples the body and the blood right the bread and the cup which represent the body which is the church and the blood which is the presence of the Holy Spirit so there can't be body without blood. It is not possible. What is a body? What is the blood? Why the body needs the blood? Because if there is no blood in the body, it is a dead body. So Paul here, he teaches what the Lord Jesus had taught to his disciples. On the night in which he was betrayed, he took the bread and gave thanks. So the bread, the servant of God, we here now have two, four youth, youth is who are beginning their lives in the presence of the Lord, like Pastor just said, they are choosing the best choice, which is to serve the Lord. Today they are now part, becoming part of the body of Christ. Now they will be able to be, take part in the supper of the Lord. And every time that we falter, like on the night in which he was betrayed, every time we deny the Lord, the Holy Spirit is going to testify in us and the body, the church, and the servant of God needs to have be controlled by the Holy Spirit. And here is this teaching that the Lord Jesus taught his disciples and now Paul is saying once again relaying to us the importance that we should uh, uh, give value to being the, the, in the body of Christ but also having being controlled by the Holy Spirit having our lives because life, eternal life it is this choice of cho serving the Lord that will lead us to eternity. So tonight we are going to participate on, on this banquet, the Supper of the Lord. It's not the Supper of the Christian, not the Christian Church, but it is the Supper of the Lord. 
So if you are part or you are congregating on another denomination, but if you if you are in fellowship with the Lord, if you are living a life that is that exists in the body of Christ, the Church of Christ, and you have already been baptized on the waters, you can participate with us tonight. Participate on this blessing. Because every time that we participate on the supper of the Lord, we we are going to be strengthened by the Lord. We begin to discern how the body of Christ is. And we are proclaiming the return of the Lord Jesus. This is the most important point. Because when we proclaim the return of the Lord Jesus, it is the sign that we are wishing the return of the Lord Jesus. Amen. So now we're going to begin the Supper of the Lord. And I'd like to invite the deacons to be here present. And also Usher David and Usher Edmilson. So the word says, examine man himself. So this is the moment where you, you will, you be speaking with the Lord. And you will, you will examine your life, David. The moment in which you will be speaking with the Lord. Lord, I'm a sinner. I'm flawed, but but I want tonight, I want to have Jesus as my example, example of humbleness, example of submission to the Father, example of obedience to the Father, because Jesus, He is for us, our model. You cannot look to anybody we should not look to the pastor, the deacon, or wife, or children. No. We, can, we should only look towards Jesus. Because He is the example that the Father left for us. Example of servant, of son, and everything. Jesus is for us everything that we need. Amen. I'd like to ask the deacon Fabio to pray for the bread. For the bread. Lord, through the sacrifice of your Son, you give access to your presence. This bread represents the body of your Son that gives so much worth, which is this blessing. Now we ask that you come to bless this food so that your, your presence may shine in, in our midst. Now, uh, David may pray for the song. Lord, Lord, praise. It's your name. For the, the juice of grape that represents the blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross. Give us sanctification and purification. We pray for the name and blood of Jesus. Amen. Now we can let me take up the lead. The lemons are going to be served. And soon after all the, the elements are served, then we are going to take part on it together. We'll all stand up, so we'll participate on the supper all together. So, uh, two and two, uh, two on the back.
Júnior. to stand up, examine their man therefore himself, and therefore eat of this bread and drink of this cup. The moment is our own moment. It's between you and the Lord, the moment of the church, where we're going to participate in the supper, and where we're going to receive a great blessing from the part of our God unto Jesus. Lord to God. Holy, holy, holy is the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Lord. My church. I gathered you to, know, to bless you. You have participated on a feast where together with my angels, my presence, you have been able to reach, it has reached each. Filhos, que o tempo se aproxima, mas a minha igreja, aqueles que têm guardado, até o último instante, as suas candeias acesas, estes têm vivido as maiores experiências que o meu Espírito Santo Spirit, Holy Spirit has done upon the face of the earth. Can glorify your God because you are people that is a privileged people 
and you have the great mystery that was given to man in my word my blessing has been able to reach you and reach you every day and because of this alone we can really glorify our God incessantly but much more my brethren I have much more to do in our midst and in your lives the days are difficult but the refreshing I have poured out upon my people pray to your God because my blessing will come upon your lives and the hope not of the things of this life but of eternity will be renewed in you every day where I find my name and participate on this glorious feast proclaiming the return of my son because this blessing is a blessing that I have for you Glória a Jesus. Vamos participar juntos, primeiramente do pão e depois do cálice. Louvado seja o nome do Senhor. Aleluia. Santo, santo, santo é o nome do Senhor. Glória a Jesus. Glória a Deus. Amém, amém. Os irmãos podem estar assentados enquanto os, os elementos serão. Elementos are going to be collected. Let's sing a song. Glória a Deus.
Aleluia. Glórias a Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory to God. We're going to stand up now. We're going to have a word of adoration to the Lord. We praise Him because our heart are filled with the joy because it's a feast in your presence, Lord. We pray for the servant to be confirmed in your presence for your salvation, Lord, for a miracle. Blessed be your name and for the riches, Lord, that you have poured out upon our lives. Thank you for this joy in our hearts. In the name of Jesus, amen. amen. Receive, Lord, our adoration and take us home in peace. And that we may have tonight, Lord, receive from the Lord dreams, spiritual dreams, and that we may receive the visitation of your spirit and that we may receive the information from the part of the Lord and that you may continue guiding our lives to be always in your presence and that we may never look backwards that we may never give up in the same way as you told us that we may continue blessing each one of us and especially these four lives, Lord, that came down into the waters. We praise you, Lord, for this gift because it, it brings great joy to our hearts in seeing our brethren making a definition, being strengthened in the Lord. Take us home in peace and the prayer that we say. I'm really thankful in the name of Jesus. Amen. In your name we say that the wonderful grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, our eternal Father, a sweet and tender consolations and the gifts uh, and the life of the Holy Spirit may be poured out upon all of us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. The church may be seated. I just wanted to remind the brethren that tomorrow at 10.30 in the morning we're going to have our Sunday school. And the brethren that can should be present. We're going to be here watching and learning more from the things of the Lord. Anything else? Oh, yeah. Oh, next week we're going to have a greater feast. We're going to have two special events. Actually, tomorrow there's a special event. Tomorrow it's going to be a, a, a promotion of the children and adolescents. The whole church is invited. For them, it's very important. They, they wait for many years for this day. <laughs> So the whole church needs to be present so that we may be offering an homage to our children because they are learning the path of the Lord. Amen. And next week we're going to have a special service, a service of evangelization. And Saturday night we're going to seminar with the adolescents. They're going to be bringing the visitors, friends, little friends, no, not little friends, friends from school. And on Sunday morning, we're going to event with them. Amen. And to all the peace of the Lord, I'd like to thank the ones who visit us. And we're going to see each other again tom tomorrow morning. Peace of the Lord. Então prepara o crédito, não tem problema, tem, tem pressa não.